Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. This video is going to be a follow-up to the last video that I made which discussed kitchen receptacles on countertops and or peninsulas. I have now actually written the NFPA with a suggestion to change and improve Article NEC 2023-210.52c. First, let's quickly do a refresher on the article. Receptacle outlets, if installed to serve an island or peninsular countertop or work surface, shall be installed in accordance with 210.52c3. If a receptacle outlet is not provided to serve an island or peninsular countertop or work surface, provisions shall be provided at the island or peninsula for future addition of a receptacle outlet to serve the island or peninsular countertop or work surface. I pointed out in the video that according to the 2020 NEC code, this particular kitchen island would need two receptacles, but per the 2023 NEC code, this same island would require zero receptacles. I'll put a link for this video in my video description and if you check it out, be sure and read the viewer comments because there are a wide range of opinions on this article and everyone gave reasoned and very intelligent opinions. Now I'll show you my letter to the NFPA with my suggestions for improvements to this article. I would like to propose the change to 2023 NEC 2010.52c. As it is written for this year, no receptacles need to be installed into kitchen islands or peninsulas, but provisions need to be made for a future addition of a receptacle to said island or peninsula. My problem with this is that many contractors who are sometimes on severe budgets will elect to not install any receptacle or receptacles on kitchen islands or peninsulas. Now the homeowners who many times really need electrical power on their island or peninsula will be forced to use extension cords. I feel that the extension cords are much more of a safety hazard than the receptacle or receptacles ever would be. And the provision for future receptacle is very nebulous and subject to interpretation as well as a possible source of hazards for do-it-yourselfers when they try to complete the installation of this receptacle. So my proposal is to bring back the language from the 2020 NEC 210.52c with an addition, make illegal receptacles placed on the end of the island or peninsula cabinets which are below the countertop. These are the receptacles that cause the great percentage of accidents. These are where small children can get caught up in a cord and accidentally pull down a pot or something similar. Also, require that all countertop type appliances feature internal wind-up type cords so that the cords never have to be longer than they have to be on the countertop. Most appliances already have this feature. Perhaps we can make some PSAs reminding people to use the cord wind-up features to shorten the cords on their countertops. So, with reinstatement of the 2020 to 10.52c and the addition of these two safety upgrades, I think the article would be greatly improved. So, what do you guys think about my suggestions? Do you think I have good ideas or do you think they should stay as they are with the 2023 NEC article? Let me know in the comments section and feel free to write the NFPA yourself.